been an awful lot of rain around the United Kingdom in recent times, but there's been some sunshine this morning in the northeast. In terms of the conditions, it should be an intriguing match. And there's Ryan Lowe, he knew a good thing about scoring goals, over 200 in his career, a career of over 700 games. He played no higher than League One in his time. At the start of a new year, Sunderland remember all of their supporters who passed away in 2023. been playing with a back three for much of the season. Here's Pritchard. Night drop here for Bellingham. It will for Clark. Goes for goal! And I think it was a little further away than this in that initial angle showed us. But most of what Jack Clark has hit at the opposition's goal has been on target this season. He's having a wonderful campaign. Following it, goalkeeper Freddie Woodman. This is the angle to see how close he was. Now it's some way a couple of yards wide from Clark. Bellingham's playing the number 10 role. Andrew Hughes running away from Pritchard. Here's Miller. Evans and Brown in the middle. Miller might go himself here. Blocked by Hume, and a fine save by Patterson to deny Whiteman. Ben Whiteman struck that really well. First shot in anger, it was a good one from Whiteman. Probably say it's a good height for the goalkeeper, but Whiteman gets plenty behind the strike. Close to two years ago, he is... Alice, Neil, Equa. Nice ball, fell into space here for Pritchard! Oh, what a hit! Alex Pritchard! Recall to the starting 11. That just flew past the stretch of Freddie Woodman. You might be surprised to learn it's the first goal of the season and it's a memorable one. Just cuts across it, maybe the slightest of fingertips from Woodman, but the pace that beats him. Every team in the championship is playing today, New Year's Day. Ten of the twelve fixtures kick off at three o'clock UK time. The late match, Sheffield Wednesday Hall. This is Clark. Defenders know what Jack Clark's going to do, but stopping him is an entirely different matter. Scored so many of his goals this season from situations just like that. The goalkeeper stays at home. It's well defended by Ballard. Preston keep the attack alive. Miller, shot blocked by Equa. Whiteman. In by Miller. Way by the thigh of Ballard. And Trockyard again can't keep the shot down. Probably feels he ought to be testing the goalkeeper from there. Trying to drive for the byline, he's done well. And a loop kindly for Patterson. A lot of Preston bodies ahead of the ball here. Clark steps past one and then drives at scoring. 
Will it be all his own work here? Jack Clark tries to find Rees in! Who's got his first goal in English football? It's been a long wait to New Year's Day for a strike of the score in red and white stripes. But Nazir Rees was in the perfect position. Jack Clark's assist. But look how many bodies Preston had forward there. None of them getting back quickly enough. There were three, then it was down to two. And then Clark posing questions, as he invariably does. And Rusin nips in front of Lindsay. And the Ukrainian getting the perfect touch to the Clark cross to make it 2-0. Preston have certainly had their defensive problems this season. And comes across, way by Ballard, as far as Potts struck Elise. Potts again. Whiteman. Hughes. Miller. Towards the save out of Patterson, had to be watchful at his near post there. The sort of position that uh, Liam Miller scored on Boxing Day. Need a bit more energy, I think, in the final third. Might get that from Will Keane. Emil Rees, another striking option, he's been a long time injured. But he's back on the bench today. Here's Potts. And Patterson gets hands on the McCann shot. And a bit of space though, up there though, Brad Potts. And it's an easy routine stop for Patterson. strongly it's not booing by the way whenever Hume goes into challenges like that and he does it often Sunderland fans chant mm. Miller good looking cross this and Potts had time to take he's got good technique Brad Potts but made the wrong choice I fancy here look at the space he's got to bring this down and get it controlled Mixed form of late. But back to winning ways here, it would seem, at the Stadium of Light. Three minutes to go. Here's Miller. Hughes. Good looking cross. No nine. Grateful to see Patterson on the end of that to prevent the own goal and in the right place. So Nines uh, facing his own goal here under pressure. Hughes. Then goes Reese. Can't work off the header. And that will be just about it once Anthony Patterson has taken this goal kick. Sunderland exact revenge on Ryan Lowe's Preston who beat them 2-1 at detail in August and the Preston fans who've made the journey up on this New Year's Day will go home disappointed I don't think there's any doubt that Sunderland have deserved their win they've had the greater creativity Clark when he was on song in the first half he set up the second goal for Rusin a much needed first goal in England for the Ukrainian striker, that after Pritchard's brilliant long-range strike. So for Michael Beal, a good start to 2024. Just a little matter of Newcastle United this Saturday in the third round 
of the FA Cup where Rusin will expect to start. Can he back it up with more goals to keep Sunderland in the promotion mix? For now, ahead of the rest of the championship fixtures, they're back into sixth place thanks to this comfortable victory. Final score then at the Stadium of Light, Sunderland 2, Preston North End 0.